Hello, 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 hello. I don't know why I feel like singing today. Hello. Go, oh, hello, Ronnie. How are you? Just gonna wait a few minutes for everyone to come in. It's four minutes till, so it's gonna take a little bit of time. Here we are. Hi, Becky. Hi, Becky. Oh, I guess I'm just repeating myself today. <coughs> Excuse me, I've got an allergy in my throat. I'm doing good. I actually had everything all set up the night before. I did this all last night. So when I got up this morning, I was like, hmm, I, no sewing machine tables. So that's all gone. No sewing machines on the table, I should say. So I'm sitting here going, gee, what am I going to do? There's nothing for me to do. I can't sew or anything. So I cleaned a little. Hello, Sue. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. I don't know where you guys are. All. I think most of you are all at the good morning part right now. I'm gonna wait probably about five minutes and that'll give us just a couple minutes past 11.30 just to make sure everyone who wants to show up is showing up. I have down below the list of the items that are available. Several of them have already been chosen and do you see what I put from the new title, Stuffy Adoption Day? So several of them have been adopted. I'm gonna repeat myself a few times when more people come in, but the plan is, hello Carol, is we're gonna do the, hi Tracy, do the stuffy adoption day then I'm gonna shut down this live stream and if you got proper notification from YouTube you'll see that we are gonna go live for our normal Saturday craft and chat afterwards so I'll clean all of this up put it all away and then come back and what I'm going to be working on in the craft and chat is my scrappy note cards I had a, a good news, bad news thing. Well, never not really bad news or anything, but I had a situation as I did some pre-sales and I was going to weigh a couple items to get them ready to ship out to make sure I had proper weight with a combination of items and stuff. My scale died. Now, I've only had it for 10 plus years. Is that Jean? I want to say it's Jean, right? Because Jean would be a little bit different, but that would be a cute name too. Hello, whoever you are. <laughs> I think it's just Jean. I'm used to seeing Jean as a, like, blue jeans, G-E-A-N. Um, but yeah, my scale died. I, I bought it off of eBay for a penny more than 10 years ago, probably back in about 2005 or 2006, whenever I started my art fire shop. So I only paid penny for it and it finally died. It kept going from like two ounces up to two pounds and it kept fluctuating back and forth. So I had to buy a new scale and thank goodness I didn't have to leave the house. I got it from Amazon, it showed up yesterday. So I am in good shape. Becky, I have had a crossbody bag on the brain. I've been seeing a few different ones since I did the cell phone cozy bag thing. I've been getting suggestions on Pinterest and here on YouTube for the crossbody bags. And I've been like designing one in my head because I really want a crossbody bag for myself. You know, I was thinking you probably can't see my big old hip, but I was thinking that I want a crossbody bag and I want to put a little hook on it so that I can hook it like to the belt loop of my pants. I I've always been a little cautious person. Some may call it paranoid. Hello, Isabel. I am doing really well. Hello, Kristen. But going to like Walmart has gotten really dangerous in my area. People, I even when I have a bag, I put my wallet in my pocket, but I was thinking if I had the crossbody bag that I can put a clip on it and clip it to my belt loop for extra security so people just can't rip it. Now, granted, I know they can rip my belt loop off, but if I put it a little bit towards the front, I feel a little more secure of being able to hold on to it. And again, I never leave my wallet in my bag, my purse, my backpack, anything. When I go shopping, I always put it in a pants pocket because it's just, it's just too dangerous here. I don't know how you guys' areas are, but Walmart has gotten scary here. Some areas, it's really weird. It's like they think we have a 
we have a lot of Walmarts. I just go to the little grocery store one, which isn't too bad. I can go early in the morning and it's like me and the cashier there. But then there's other ones where they have the, what we call the rich Walmart. It's in a nicer neighborhood. People don't wear their pajamas when they go there. They're not the people of Walmart. So everything looks really nice. And then there's the scarier Walmart where I'm happy that everyone's wearing shoes and a t-shirt. But that's the one that's closest to my house. So it all depends. So I just, I'd like to get a, all that to say, I'd love to get a nice little crossbody bag to just carry some essentials with me and not have to have everything. Yeah, they, I've seen, they've, they've had shootings. They've had knife fights. There's little old ladies. I know they're just like an easy advantage, but down here in Southwest Florida, there's a lot of little old ladies. So they get, um, they get purse snatched a lot. So then they have people that have been pushed away and their cars have been stolen. And it's really scary. I'm, I'm really glad that at my age that my kids are all older now. So when you have to make the decision, do you keep your kids near you? Or I've always kept them in my shopping cart next to me when I'm putting the food in the car or the trunk. And I always keep my purse with me. But some people put their kids in the car and then upload their groceries into their car. So we're still hearing about people that are having their cars stolen when they have dogs and babies and stuff in it. It's just so scary. Penny, we did that really simple one for the cell phone cozy and I we're going to branch out on that. When we get into the craft and chat version, for all those people that are just showing up, we're gonna do the stuffy adoption day I'm going to shut down this live stream, plug my phone in for a little bit, clear it all up, maybe get another drink, and then we're going to come back in like five or ten minutes, if not probably less, and we'll do the craft and chat, and then we'll talk about different projects that everyone would like to work on, and then we'll also talk about the crossbody bag, because I want to branch out from that cell phone cozy and make something bigger, and I'll talk to you guys about it then, if you remind me. Yeah, certain Walmarts are just a little bit scary. Oh, after 4 p.m., yeah. My kids, I used to go, when I worked at the hospital, I worked 5 p.m. to 1.30 a.m., and my kids were younger, because this is back in 2002. I worked there for like nine years, and it was just easier for me to go do my shopping in the middle of the night, go to the post office, because they have the outside box where you can ship things that way and stuff, weigh them and get a label, buy stamps and all that. So I did all that stuff at 2 in the morning. There's no way I would do it now. Even with all the security, it's just way too dangerous. <clears throat> a couple more minutes and we'll get started. I am not expecting a lot of people for this, but I will say check out afterwards. Once we're all done with this and everyone picks out what they want, I'm going to change the listing down below later today after the second live stream. And I will delete all of the ones that have been chosen. So I'm just hoping every guys, if you choose them and you can't pay right away, just please let me know. But I want to put it on the honor system that if you tell me what you want, that you guys are gonna pay for it. And I'll, I'm just just putting that out there. You guys are all really good and everyone always pays, so that's not an issue. But who knows who might show up along the way. I need a drink. <clears throat> I have everything lined up in numerical order-ish. And what we're gonna do is, since we did the first one last month, kinda got a handle of how it's gonna go. I did the pre-listing pre of everything for those of you guys that have slow internet who can't be here because of you're out having fun, it's a summertime or it's the wrong time of the day because it might be 3 a.m. for you or it might be dinner time or something like that or tea time. I've learned that one. So you guys can always choose ahead of time and then anyone who shows up later can pick out something later. But just check down below in the description box and. I can't do anything on the video for 24 hours. So if someone, if everyone who purchases today, I can't change that listing for 24 hours, but I can go back to the previous one that I already did and delete. I know it's a little bit extra work, but if you're checking this out before Monday morning, then go ahead and check the previous pre-listing so you can see what's been sold. <clears throat> so is everybody ready? So if there's something you want, just say down below the number 
and you know because you'll already have your name you can list them one by well one by one because that's how I'm going to show you I have my little notebook that I'm keeping a list of all of them you do so that when it comes time to send me an email all you have to do is send me an email to rsislandcrafts at gmail.com which is in the description box down below and you just give me your mailing address because I'll have everything listed if you remember your numbers that's great you can tell me that if not I will reply to you with the list of numbers and the names of them that I have and then you can tell me if I'm missing anything or I wrote one down wrong sound good my internet <laughs> uh, it's one of those things I my phone is recording going live and that's Verizon Verizon has been up and down all week I'm on my local CenturyLink on my comments here on my little Chromebook laptop and that's been kind of going slow I can see myself in the video moving so I'm gonna guess that everything's okay but as usual I might pop in and say hey can someone just leave a comment and say hi so I know the comments are working if we go through this entire thing and nobody wants to buy anything, it's perfectly fine. If there's nothing you like, you don't have to purchase anything. Next month, if I get my button gear, we are going to do books and magazines. I have to get into the bottom of my closet behind all of the other stuff that's in there. And I have a long row of quilting magazines, knitting magazines. I have some cross stitch. I might have like one or two plastic canvas. I have books on making bags and on doing knitting and stuff like that. So there's gonna be a wide variety. And for that one, we're gonna do like a bulk sale. I'll combine a couple of different things that look like they go together and we'll just do a flat rate shipping and a really small price for most of the items. I have a lot of old. Hey Carol, you're getting your button gear. Is that for cleaning things out? I have a lot of old quilting magazines where they're kind of like the pages are that old brown color, kind of almost like this guy here. And the front cover is really thin paper and it's just kind of colored. And then I have some of the newer ones, which are still probably six years old. They have the really nice glossy covers and they're the really nice quilting magazines and everywhere in between. Okay, so let's get going. We need to jump ahead to number three because everybody else has sold. Are you guys ready? Number three is the Blacklight Octopus. I did look this up and this does glow in the blacklight, but I wanna show you guys a little close up. His eyes are a little bit yellowed. These are glued on. If you peel them off, there's gonna be glue underneath. Carol, I either saw that at a thrift store or I have that. I want to say I have one with a Lone Star on it because I've always been attracted to those. I purchased a lot of old quilting magazines for a very little bit at the thrift store, so you never know what I might have. I will do the pre-sale ahead of time also and show you guys. And it's not going to be, I'm sorry, but it's, I'm not going to do the just buy one magazine. You're going to have to buy whatever's in the bundle, even if you only want one of them and it's going to be flat rate shipping so you'll know ahead of time that you're going to be spending at least ten dollars flat rate shipping is like eight something and then i don't know what i'll price the magazines at maybe like a dollar each 50 cents each depending on what they are carol we will talk but you can't talk to me until i get all the magazines out of the bottom of my closet that is the one space that i have been avoiding like bad but everything's nice and neat once i pull this stuff out which isn't the problem, it's getting everything back in. I'm not ready to clean out my closet, but I do want to get all those magazines out. Okay, so number three is the octopus. Now remember, I am going to be, let me see, I got these guys here. Where is, here they are. I have all of these little fishies. I was talking to one of you about them, and I think what I was doing with these is some people were putting magnets in them, to make the fishing game but i was thinking that some of these you can use velcro on a fishing pole because the magnets aren't safe for little kids and the velcro would stick to these and you'd be in good shape but unless you tell me no i'm going to pop one or two of these in especially if you guys have cats so if anyone wants to fish you can just have them if you already have an order just tell me how many you want if you want fishies without anything else then you need to just pay shipping 
I, I went through most of my closets after Rob passed away because I totally freaked out and my kids freaked out. If mom dies, what are we going to do with all her stuff? They didn't say that nicely. I think they said another word for it. But I've been trying to just go through and just purge a lot because in the future I might just move into a two-bedroom condo and I'm in a four-bedroom, 1,200-square-foot house even though condos are about that same size. Anyway, I want to go and purge a bunch of stuff. So number three is the octopus. Then we have number four is a knit patch, the pumpkin. You guys can kind of tell the size. If you need a measurement or something, just let me know. Number five is gone. Number six is a big guy. He's the purple people eater. He is crocheted. And not to like brag or anything like that, but I did a pretty good job crocheting for them. I'll clean all fuzzies off. It's on my sewing table. They're getting everything. The stuffing doesn't come out, but of course, if you have small children, they can easily do whatever. I do a really good job of stitching everything down really paranoid-wise to make sure everything's on there. Oh, I should tell you the prices. The octopus was $10. Patch the pumpkin was $15. The purple eater guy is $20. He's Mike Waskowski, but done in purple. <clears throat> Excuse me, I have a lot of throat clearing going on today. The little gnome guy, he is number seven. He is $8. He has the wiggle eyes that you can see just a little bit of the yellow. The gnomey guys have been really popular for several years. So he's got fun fur. I did it like latch hook where you pull it through, so maybe not for small guys for this one. And then, oh, the Furby, Furby, Furby. Here's Mr. Furby. This is number eight, and I put him at $15. Again, lesson learned about wiggle eyes. They're really fun, but he looks a little jaundiced. He's got a tongue and his beak. He's made of fun fur, so again, maybe not for the tiniest ones, because this, good morning, Sin, this could easily be pulled out. This fun fur is crocheted in along with this yarn here, so that it's all done at the same time, so it's not like latch hooked on or anything, and everybody is sewn in together. He can be poop or a Hershey's Kiss. Number nine is eight dollars. He has button eyes, a little poofy little bow on top of his head, and a felt mouth. I see things coming up. Where do I see coming up? My phone is faster. There we go. Sin, how do you adopt? You tell me what number you want right now and I will mark it down for you. And then afterwards, you'll send me your email address to rsilentcrafts at gmail.com. It's in the description box down below. And I will send a message back to you stating, if you know the numbers you got, you can say, Rob and I wanted four and 12. I'll be like, okay, four and 12 is this and this, and it's yours. And then tonight or tomorrow, I'll send you a PayPal invoice, you pay it, and then I'll mail it. These guys are so big that most of them, if you order two things, they can't fit in my mailbox. I'll have to go to the post office, and I'd like to just make one or two trips if that's okay with everybody. So if you see something you want, just put a comment down below, and as long as your comment pops up before everyone else's, it's yours. Okay, the sock monkey's gone. Okay, the hugging frog. So he's got crocheted eyeballs. Remember, he's the one that has Velcro on his hands and his feet so you can hug him. Well, the only thing you've missed so far, if everyone doesn't mind, we'll get you caught up real quick. Number, number three is an octopus. He is $10. And it was also in the pre-video that I put out a couple days ago. Number four is the pumpkin dude and he is 15. You can remember, these guys, the prices are less than if I'd have sold them in my shop, but they still might be considered a little high.
take a long time to make these. Number six is the Purple People Eater, and he's $20. Number seven is the Gnome for $8. Furby's number eight for 15. A Pooper Hershey's Kiss is number nine for $8, and we're on our frog. You want number seven. Six is gone, who wanted six? Six? Oh, sorry, hold on, I missed six. Thank you, Sue, who said six? Oh, Ronnie wants six, thank you guys, I missed that. Where's Ronnie? Da -da 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 -da. Sorry, I'm just double checking, because I don't, oh, there she is, Ronnie wants six. Okay, sorry, Ronnie. Tried to give your guy away. Thank you, moderators. I appreciate your hard work. Yes, but see, my, my mailman, they don't send him, they don't tell him anymore that he has a scheduled pickup, so I have to watch for him. But if I leave a note in the mailbox, he'll come up and knock on the door. So it, it all depends. Okay, and Sin wants number seven. Okay. Sue, so, you're working so hard. That's very sweet of you. Okay, so our guy, where are we? Hugging Frog number number 11. He's $20. Yes, it does take some time for it. Now, this guy was actually part of a set where there was like a monkey and a frog and a couple other different guys. So you want, you want the frog also, Sin? I'm going to move this chair out of my way. I just love that he has the Velcro and you could put them over, I always thought like hanging over off of the bed rail, like a bunk bed and stuff, that would be really nice. Well, let me set these guys in a different spot. If you hold on one second, purple people eater, the hugging frog, and the gnome. Let's put these guys over here in this pile. You guys are so great and you're so patient working with me and everything. Yes, Chris, I am selling these. These are things that I've, stuffies that I've made in the past, and they've just been sitting in plastic Rubbermaid bins. They are away from my cats. They are away from sun. They just don't get any air, so they've basically been suffocating. So if there's something you see that you would like, just let me know the number down below, which one you'd want. And after we're all done with the sale, send me an email with your mailing address so that I can figure out shipping and then I'll send you a PayPal invoice and mail everything off to you. And we're just going one by one, so it's first come, first serve. So if you see it, grab it. I did a preview video earlier, so anyone who wasn't able to be here or who has slow internet could have a chance of getting what they want. This guy is number 14, he's a troll. He has safety eyes and scary hair. And I show it all the time because we just always thought it was just a coolest little thing where they actually put the butt on them and all the little fingers and toes I believe these were actually crocheted as you go so nothing is attached here on the fingers but the arms and the nose the ears and stuff are all on there and then we have the zebra this is number the troll was 15 Zebra's number 15, and he's also $15. He has button eyes, and he's got a mane with his little tail that's braided. We have the airplane is number 16. I have all the rest of them all lined up on a shelf over there, so this isn't it. We still, I think we have... We have 57 of them to do, but a lot of them are uh, those little kittens. I, I, I went crazy making these guys. So we have a crocheted plane. He has felt for his stars and for his windshield. And these pieces are sewn on. I just tell you what's sewn on just for safety reasons so you know, depending on the age of the child you're going. 
So that is the plane. He is twelve dollars. We skip the whale. This is number twelve for the whale, and it's twelve dollars. So he has a felt eye crocheted mouth this is crocheted on as you go so these are the only items that are attached it's basically a flat stuffed item versus being in a real full 3d and he is twelve dollars all right so this is a skull pillow god i forgot what the school is already called it said scary high school thing that the kids were all really into at a while ago so it's a crocheted pillow you can't take it off to wash it you have to wash it all in one yeah sue is really good sue's on top of it don't let becky you know becky's amazing too she just doesn't have to say anything right now this is i crocheted the cover and i crocheted it all together so it is washable there's an actual insert in here you just can't like take the cover off so this is number 17 and this is $15. So these are two crocheted panels like a quilt square that you put together. Let me bring all these guys over now. I just wanted to have everything in a numerical type order this time so that we weren't going crazy in case anyone was looking in a specific order. I didn't want you guys to wait to the end when I already showed it in the beginning. Okay. Becky's making, oh yeah, Becky's sewing your bag. Small photo, that's gone. Okay, the little bunny cup holder. This is number 19, it's $8. So you put a glass jar inside here, like a jelly jar or something, a small mason jar, and then you can put like candy or something in it or your keys or whatnot. He's got his ears, he's got pom-pom. His eyeballs are wooden, pom-pom nose, big fat cheeks. So he is $8. use my pen to keep myself in place the angel bear number 20 is eight dollars so this is an off-white creamy color brown bear so she's praying she's got her wings back here her nice little lacy dress and then like this so she can stand up and sit on a dresser and number eight for Ronnie eight Ronnie wants Furby. Ronnie gets Furby. Excellent. Ronnie, did I miss that or did you just pop in and say it? Because I apologize if I missed you. Our minions. So the minions are all six dollars each. Number twenty-one. Are oh, you just popped in? Okay. Sin, you don't do, you don't do PayPal, but can Cash App? I've never done that before. All right, so the minion is six dollars. He has the eye that's again a little bit yellowed. He's a keychain. So he has this type of keychain that ah, I'm gonna break my nail. You pull this out and it opens up, so you put your keys on. Thank you. Yes, we do have the best moderators. So then this is number 21. So this guy is $6. And I also have four of them with two eyes. So you can just choose, say, well, you want one with two eyes, and I'll just pick one. They're basically, I mean, I have smiley faces and smirking, smiley and smirking. So they're about all the same. 
with just a little bit different. Oh, everyone has to pay before I ship anyway, Sin, so when you email me, just let me know what your options for paying are and we'll figure it out. I've only ever used PayPal, but we can figure it out. Twenty-three is a crochet paintbrush. It's got the fiber fill in it, so it's stuffy. Just because I don't do anything different, I know some people just don't do PayPal, so however you want to do it, I've accepted checks before in the past, and I just wait for the checks to clear, and we go from that, but whatever Cash App is, if I can do it, it's simple enough. You want one with two eyes, Sue? Since we're all just chatting, you want a smirk or a smile? Paintbrush was five bucks. Purple medallion, you want a smile. Got it. So these we were doing for Easter over on Crochetville one year, and it's got this medallion type circle for the bunny. I matched the yarn up here for his ears. He's got a handmade pom pom for his butt, so he's got the medallion on the back, and then he got it on the front. He got a little eyeball, so he is all yarn. That is number 24, and he is $6. Oh, to hang it from the car mirror or something. And then I also have a version. This is number 25, also $6. And he is red and aqua. A little bit of orange in there. So they are, I don't make mine too hard. I like them a little bit squishy, but not super soft. Okay, now we are going to do the pod bunnies. They're called like nuggets. So we've got number 27. No, let's do this guy. Number 26, he is blue. And then they've got the off-white creamy type color, a flat base, nice and squishy. These guys are $6. That's number 26. Number 27 is got, I've stitched it down, so they've got their little Easter hat on. They're dressed up for, maybe for Halloween, to put their, their little bunny ears on. So he's blue with red, so it's kind of like the Minion. Little pom-pom tail, number 27 for $6. And then we have the Harry Potter one. He's number 28 for $6. It's the same pattern. Just made it a little bit taller. They just need to be... When you get these out of the mail, if you take anything that's stuffed and you just run it through your hands like this with a little firmness, it evens out all of the stuffing. So he's got his glasses and his scar. He still has his little ears. So he was number 28. Ninja Turtle Lovey, number 29, and it's $15. So I don't remember who I said this was, but I put it down somewhere in the last video. Michelangelo, Donatello, whatever. The kids will know he's orange. They've got the one, two, three, hexagon for the turtle shell. So it's just a nice little lovey, number 29 for $15 for the kids to carry around and to sleep with and to love on. Everything is stitched on with yarn, but again, they're not really meant for the smallest kids. Just one of those things you have to keep an eye on them and pay attention to. And then the other lovey is the one with number 31, $15. It's the monster, so he's got his eyeball. It's just dangling out. He's got his brain showing. And then he's got the scary Halloween-y colors. So number 31 for $15. Oh, don't lose anything. The green polka dot octopus number 32 is $15. He's got felt eyes and mouth. This was a fat quarter bundle that I picked up, I think, at like Walmart or Joann's or something. 
and I just went ahead and used all the different stripes and polka dots. All the legs are sewn in as you make this and you just stuff it from here and then you stuff it along the side. So I thought these guys were fun to make. 32 for $15. Number 34 is the little damn it doll. Just five bucks is one of those, damn it, my team didn't win. Crazy hair. This is the purple pink sock monkey, number 35 for $12, made from socks. So those soft fuzzy socks with the little grippers on them. So you make it from the foot so you get a little bit on the arm and then on the rest of the body. He's got felt eyes, stitched mouth, and a long tail. 12 bucks. Then we have the otters. The purple one is number 36. These are $6 each. And the Halloween one is number 37. All right, Sin, we're going to come back a little after, well, it's already noon, so when we're done with here, we're going to come back, do a craft and chat, so if you want to just come back and sit around and talk to us, once we're all done, we are going to just work on whatever projects we want and have fun sitting down. I thought it was only going to take a half an hour for this, but oh well, it took a little bit longer. Yes, Brenda, it does look like he has them. So these guys are $6, number 36 and number 37. Number 38 is the jump rope. And that is six dollars just to give you an idea of how long this is so it's for like the two three the, the, the smaller kids you know that are just starting out they've got button eyes and it's made out of denim and you know it's a jump rope number 39 is a zebra baby doll for eight bucks He's the one that he's got his little attached hood. He's got ears. He's all dressed up for bed or for Halloween. Felt pacifier, embroidered face. I was trying to make this follow this one pattern to make a shark zipper pouch to put pens and pencils in, but it didn't work, so it became a stuffy. This is number 40, and he is $5. He's got his little fins, and he's just a gray shark. Okay, number 41 is... The... Let's see. Brown hair girl. Whoop, I lost you guys. Uh-oh, hold on. There we are. There we are. Make sure everyone's good. Okay. So, 41 is a brown hair girl. She's got her little quilt. Just a simple little quilt. Some felt hair, embroidered face. Black hair girl, $15. She's got her quilt. I like the giraffe baby doll. Okay. 39. Hello, Sasslet. Hello, hello. We are finishing up. We're getting to the end almost to what the three quarter part of our stuffy adoption day. And then we're going to switch over to a new video and do the live stream of the craft and chat. So $42 for the black haired girl. So she's got felt hair and stuff like that. Thank you. She's got city outline and everything for her clothes. I really like that fabric. Okay, oh, Rubik's Cube pin cushion for $6, number 43. Is the gnome still available? I want to say, let's see. I want to say no. Nope, sorry, the gnome is gone. So the pin cushion is $6, number 43. So that leaves us with the stuffed little kitties. I'm not going to put these in any type of numerical order. 
We'll just go through them real quick. Okay, these are all six dollars. So number 50 is the dogs on the belly. That's how Ronnie wants the Rubik's Cube. Thank you. so he doesn't get buried. He's a tiny little guy. Okay, so we got the dogs, that's number 50. The red belly is number 47. Number 52 is the blue belly with leaves. 44, green belly with birds. 56, got the math. 46, New York Giants. 53, my favorite with the frog. 48 is red belly white flower. 49 is the 49ers. All right, thanks, Ronnie. 57, pink belly with starfish. 55, a green belly. 54 is swamp green belly. 51 has got the orange belly camouflage. And 45 is the green belly with the butterflies. So I wanna thank everyone for hanging out with us. Everyone that's watching the replay, if there's anything you're interested in, just let me know. Send me an email. As I said, it takes like 24 hours for these videos to go up that I can edit them at all. You guys can see them right away, but I can't edit anything. And then I'll go ahead and delete everything that's been sold. I'm going to shut it all down and I'm going to bring out my cards. Then we can sit down and just have a good craft and chat session. Sound good? It's going to be a whole new live stream, so you're going to have to leave this one and click on the new one. It should already be there, otherwise you'll see it pop up real quick. Just give me just seconds, because I really I don't need to get a drink or use the bathroom or anything, so we're good. Hold on. <laughs>